Some say March rolls in like a lion. For one of these members, that may change. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Blast TV. With RC, this is Xavier Cross. And one member of the GOAT this evening may add to the collection of gold around his waist. Braves, later on this evening, takes on the future Lance on Hawaii for the ultimate heavyweight championship. First of all, who are you? You know who, everyone knows who I am. Let's hear from GOAT. Shut up. Tiburon Solutions and Auto Services, located at 1008 South 4th Street in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We will find any part for any car. We also repair engines and transmissions, tune-ups, oil change, paint and body, brakes, tires, welding, and much more. We don't just find it, we do it all. Our hours of operation are Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We speak English and Espanol. Our phone number is 484-951-7446.
from SPF. I have it on very good authority that Jimmy Conway is we'll call it taking care of some business. Oh. That's all That's all we have to really say about that. But he's entrusted Luca Brasi to take care of business here tonight in this, yes, I'm going to say it, South Side Battle. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I know where he is. He has indigestion from all those horrible, stupid Philly cheesesteaks. My apologies to those that enjoy Philly cheesesteaks. Philly cheesesteaks are amazing. Tony Luke's in the house. I'd love to get that Tony Luke sponsorship money. They're the greatest in town. Wink and point to the hard cam. There is no way that Luca is going to be able to do a singles match. Not when you've been in a tag team for as long as he has. Well, actually, both these teams, both these gentlemen were pitted against each other in tag team competition just last month. 
So Luca Brasi and the gent Jimmy Conway, they got the momentum as South Philly's finest defeated. Right here, we got one half of their opponents was Mike Donovan. And frankly, I think Jimmy Conway is still celebrating from the Super Bowl win for the Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles. He just said, Luca, take this one. This one's you. As this is an as I told RC, this is an this is really a South Side battle between South Brooklyn and South Philly. Well, absolutely. South Side supremacy on the line, just different turfs. And life is what life is all about one big turf war. So right here, like you said, South Brooklyn, South Philly, something's gotta give. Uh, All-star Anthony Silva couldn't pick up the win earlier, so his uh, tag team partner from last month, Mike Donovan, looking to set the stage straight by picking up a singles victory over one half of the team that defeated them last month. It's all about building victories, it's all about not going on a losing streak, and it's all about eventually becoming a champion similar to that of the 2018 Super Bowl champions, Philadelphia Eagles. I'm just happy that there's no Conway here. That means no one's going to puke anywhere. Hey, you know what? Take nothing away from Luca Brasi. He's won himself some impressive, impressive singles matches for his plane. Absolutely. And right now, this would be no different as Mike Donovan tries to Irish whip him off and he holds on tight to that side headlock. You know, Luca Brasi, a ring veteran. He's been a ring general for many, many years here in WXW and throughout the independent scene in Pennsylvania and beyond. And now right back to the bread and butter, the side headlock. It's working right now early on. The feeling out stages, these two gentlemen, I would say, are e equally matched. You really have a bone to pick with Jimmy Conway, don't you? I don't like either of them. I don't like Philadelphia. What? How could you not like Philly? How could you not like Philly? It's the armpit of America. A big up and over, and now Luca Brasi holding on to that side headlock now as he wrenches it down on the mat as Mike Donovan fighting to keep his left shoulder off the canvas so he doesn't get pinned. Now back up to a neutral face, and once again. I don't know about you guys, but my monitor, Luca, is grabbing his hair like crazy. He's not grabbing his hair. What? I don't see it here. That is clean as can be. This is straight up HD. I'm looking over here, and... Luca's not, there you, there's some hair grab right there. It really is a shame that the healthcare system doesn't work for the elderly the way that it should. I mean, obviously you need a new so, you know, prescription for your eyes, and I feel for you as the match continues here to a neutral base, pushed up in the corner. Mike Donovan now trying to, oh, he just launches him to the middle, but now reversing the psychology as he takes a page. Oh, they're jockeying for headlock positioning, and Luca reverses the headlock for a headlock, Back to where it's been working best on the canvas. There's that hair pull again, by the way, RC. Yeah. You oh. Notice how he's not talking about the hair pull right now? I can't say anything with you two blabbermouths. Yeah. And anybody notice? Oh, yeah. Mike Donovan is bald. There's no hair to pull. Can I just state the obvious? Can I just state it? Luca Brasi going to town on Mike Donovan here. Irish whip to the corner. Oh, as he hurdles over the ropes, he meets Donovan's jaw with a solid forearm smash to the high red district. But there's a ring savvy veteran. Mike Donovan says, nah, 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 nah. And he gets out of the ring, the Brooklyn outlaw regrouping. The fans don't like it. I agree with the strategy, but Luca, oh my. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's going to. Oh. oh. He thought twice about the suicide dive, but now Mike Donovan taking the feet out from under him. And joined, these guys taking the fight to the outside here. Joined here on a fiery March night, 2018. I'm in commentary with my boys here, RC, as well as Xavier Cross. We're witnessing one heck of a night of blast TV action. And he slams his head down hard. You know, that is a great move right there. Luca put his head down for that split second, getting back in the ring. And Mike Donovan, like a shark that sends his blood in the water. Can he get him? But no. Like a modified neck breaker right off of that rope there. Torch the neck there of Luca Brasi. And Luca's in a bad way right now. And Donovan still punishing the back of that neck there. 
No, in, in addition to an elite tag team division, we have a fantastic hybrid division and an ultimate heavyweight division as well here. Both these gentlemen looking to advance their singles careers in addition to their tag team careers here at WXWC4. A singles victory here. Who knows? Anything is within reach here if you earn it. And a big backdrop from the Brooklyn Outlaw. Mike Donovan for the cover. Hook in the outside leg. Does he get him right here? But no. The competition committee here at WXWC4 is always looking at singles matches here. Looking at the aggression. Oh, two pin attempt there right there. Looking at the aggression. Looking at the intimidation. Looking at who wants it more. This is always a hungry, hungry division. A hungry, hungry company with hungry, hungry athletes that want to get to that next level, that want to taste gold. Ultimately, this is the place. We Are Wrestling is not just a moniker. It's not just some clever catchphrase. It is a statement of how competitive it is here at WXWC4. Well said, Xavier. As the action continues, I can see RC shaking his head. No, what did he say that is not on point? You're going to bring a tear to my eye pretty soon with all this stuff you're spewing. As Donovan now, rear chin lock applied, he's taken a page out of the playbook of Luca Brasi. It worked for him earlier. And you know, now Donovan putting all that weight right onto the back of his head, right on the back of that neck right there, wearing him down, and it's working. And, and let's face it, all right, let's face facts. There is no comparison between Brooklyn and Philadelphia. Everyone knows that Brooklyn is much superior. Well, I think both Brooklyn and Philadelphia have great attributes, and I think it would be uh, immature and unprofessional to say one uh, turf is better than the other, as great athletes have come out of each territory, such as the two athletes we see in the ring. So are you going to put me in a corner, Mr. Adams, for being immature? I'll call you baby, and I'll put you in the corner. Right now, let's focus on the action. Thank you. Somebody said it best. Luca Brazzi now, big kick, and now he can't get Donovan to bite. Right there, he kicked him, and right now, back into the action here. Donovan with a punch now staggers Luca Brazzi on that second turnbuckle now. This could spell gloom and doom for one or both of these gladiators. Uh, if uh, he hits this, it's over. Brooklyn Outlaw hits this, it's over. Oh, he, he might have been out right there. Whatever Luca does from here could be bonus points. Okay, man, oh man. From Donovan's in a lot of trouble. That's a from long the way top, away. Luca Brazzi. Halfway across the ring. Missile drop kick. Both men are down now. That took a lot out of Luca, and that's an unfortunate break because he didn't pin him. You gotta capitalize. A beautiful missile drop kick halfway across the ring. And right now, here's the result. The referee's counting a double countout potential. Both of these guys are spent. Who wants it the most at this point? This is just sheer will, sheer determination, sheer guts. Both men up to the feet at the same time. Luca ducks the line. Ducks another line and another chop. Luca Brazzi chopping away. Beautiful up on the close line to boot. Next have in mind. Donovan now. Spring off of the ropes. Wow, look at that All springboard close. suplex. But Luca able to reach his feet and what an unbelievable neck breaker. Last ditch effort. Could this be the end of it right here? At the buzzer perhaps, but no. And normally, what would Luca be doing right now? Going for the tag. There's no one to tag this time. And Mike Donovan doesn't have anybody to tag either, so you know what? It's a great singles match. Both men are leaving it all in the ring. The crowd is into it. Listen to the clap. And before they were tag teams, they were individual wrestlers. It's not like this isn't imprinted in their DNA to begin with. Exactly. Big running splash in the corner, but Donovan moves. And Donovan, wow, washes his face with a forearm. And a drop kick, the Brooklyn Outlaw building momentum. Luca Brasi is stunned. And a cross body right in the corner here. This guy just got to be a two. Did, did he get how, it? How did he kick out of that? That was a three count. He how kicked did, out. How did he kick out of it? Uh, I'm looking at the monitor. He kicked out on two and maybe three quarters. Will 
the will to win, stamina, and you know what? The guy has great intestinal fortitude. Luca Brasi, he is representing SPF big time tonight. What's this? Oh, oh so close! Stunned him. Is that enough? There you go. Good oh. job, bro. This official's on top of it. Three a three pin butt for a foot. Hey, Literally. rules are rules, and the referee is on top of the situation. RC seems to like the referee when it's convenient for him. But the referees tonight have been have been great throughout the night. Very, very, very reliable. And now this match has taken a lot out of both of these gentlemen. You know, there has to be a winner here. And both men now, Luke is up first, and now Donovan, the will to survive, using the ropes to pull himself up to a neutral page. Come on. Oh! oh Donovan happened? manipulated the referee, what? pretending like he was injured. Yeah, well, he was. Oh, wait, and then, low, low blow. Big, big shot. Low blow, low blow. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Take that, Luca! Take that and shove it into your Philly cheesesteak. You know what? It was underhanded tactics. I appreciate the, uh, you know, the effort that both men put in. It stinks that one competitor has to resort to a low blow in order to pick up the victory, but it is a victory all the same. Tiburón Solutions Auto Services, localizado en la 1008 Sur, en el 4th Street, en Allentown, Pennsylvania. Conseguimos cualquier parte para cualquier auto. También reparamos motores y transmisiones. Tune up, cambio de aceite, pintura freno, gomas, soldadura y mucho más. No solo conseguimos de todo, también hacemos de todo. Nuestro horario de servicio es de lunes a sábado, de 8 de la mañana a 6 de la tarde. Hablamos español e inglés. Nuestro teléfono 484-951-7446.
the greatest of all time, by their own words, have run roughshod through the elite tag team division. Their eight month tag team reign has got to be considered here in WXWC4 in the annals of tag team though. One of, if not the longest streaks actively held by any champion. They will be tested this evening in an elite tag team championship match against the American Murder Society. A lot of people, Xavier, can say that they are GOAT or the greatest of all time. But these two individuals back it up and they backed it up for the last eight months. And the GOAT looking for the win in defense of their tag team titles the Elite Tag Team Championship to make a statement in the upcoming Samoan Cup Tournament. And what, what kind of a statement would the American Murder Society make in pulling off the upset on the Elite Tag Team Champions? And I'm going on record, I'm saying GOAT will win. They're my team for the Samoan Cup. That's who I'm picking. But tell me we've heard this before. What are you talking about? You heard me tell me you've heard this before. Well, you know what? Until he changes his pick, it's a smart pick. You know what? The money's got to be on the champions to win the Samoan Cup. There's no doubt they're going to be in there. They've been one of the most dominant tag team championship teams in recent memory, and they're fighting champions. And we're going to start things off with Aaron Bradley, and he's definitely going to try and step up his game here as he's getting this opportunity of a lifetime here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And you know what? The GOAT had an open challenge here. American Murder Society answered it. I had a chance to actually take a moment and interview these two before the match, and they just pretty simply, they just want to collect some gold and kick some teeth in. No, oh, that sounds like a good quote. I mean, hey, that's what we come here for. And right now, Aaron Bradley running circles wrestling-wise around absolute Chris Cage. Uh, the wrestling pedigree of relentless Aaron Bradley, you know, bar none. He had a great high school amateur wrestling career, and he's translated it into a very successful professional wrestling career early on. He's only been in the business a couple years. You know, he's had his ups, his downs, controversy left and right, but, you know, he's been consistent, and he's relentless. It's a perfect moniker for this young man. And on a side note, you should have heard what they said about you when you walked away. <laughs> I'm sure, you know, I, there's been plenty of bad stuff talked about me, and I'm still here seven years later. It's all about doing your thing and loving what you do. And right now, absolute Chris Cage, he's he's getting schooled by Aaron Bradley. Wait a minute, School wait a boy minute. for the titles. Wow, early upside, upset. Crucifix, pinfall attempt, Aaron Bradley for the win right here. What do you think of this relentless Aaron Bradley so far? Man, oh man, he, you know what, he's not young on the wrestling scene, but he's young at WXWC4, and he's really making an impact early on. I hope that referee checked that tape on his shoulder, make sure it's legal. Hey, 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 that's kinesiology tape. For those that don't know, it's... It helps out. It helps out tremendously. The American Murder Society. Here we go. We got Maniac Unchained Steve off. Big boot for the championship. Wow. I'm, I'm thinking the Zoltan may have uh, underestimated their challengers tonight. And now he, here comes Superstar Whiplash. Uh -oh. Speaking a, of Whiplash. That's a deep arm drag right there from Steve off. Man, oh man, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat would be proud of that one. That was deep and that was effective. Who? Doesn't he, don't he, doesn't that guy realize his hair is stupid? Everybody has a fashion statement. It's not stupid if he loves it. And there is another deep arm drag from Maniac Unchained. One half of the American Murder Society. These guys have really come here with a game plan. And they've really shaken the goat and the Zoltan here tonight. Yeah, they can have all the game plans that they, they want, David Adams, but they are not the greatest of all time. But might they solve the riddle? What's that? 
We thought that the greatest of all time, let's put it out there in football parlance. We thought the greatest of all time, Tom Brady, New England Patriots. We thought they would take over and win their fifth Super Bowl. I'm not going to waste commentary on that. Drop kick, near fall, but now the American Murder Society, they're relentless, back on the offensive. They're not worried about almost getting them. Beautiful double springboard suplex with a delay in there for good measure. Steve off for the championships, but no, no. I think I touched the nerve with RC because in a, then again, the Philadelphia Eagles upset the GOAT. Could we be seeing an upset here in the making with American Murder Society upsetting the GOAT? That's better. We're not putting TB, we're not putting TB on commentary. I'm not putting him over. He's over enough as Steve off now for the cover with the titles on the line. Barely a two count. The action continues. And I am most impressed by the American Murder Society. They don't have a lot of time in here with WXWC4, but they quickly, obviously, are a gelled in sync tag team. And there's a tag into Chris Cage. I don't know, I don't know if Off saw it. No, he definitely didn't. Of course, Ivy Roman also having a hand in that as well, literally. Well, Ivy Roman, you know, she's been a staple of this uh of this faction and she's been the reason why they've been so successful in many aspects in addition to their own natural wrestling pedigree as the action continues absolute chris cage looking to work on steve off as steve off fights back but there's another boom fist right to the face of the jersey native steve off by the way did you say you don't want to you don't want to have tb do commentary you don't want to have rc you mean is that what you mean? Not have RC do a commentary? Put that on my wish list, will you? Oh, we got to let RC in. He adds a little bit of fire to the fuel. Fuel to the fire? I said it backwards. Whatever. Bottom one is the greatest of all time. The goal, the goat, the Zoltan. Now back in control. This is what they do best. They isolate one member of a team and they keep them far away from their tag team partner. And this is a great militaristic aspect of why they've been so successful. Oh. Ivy Roman just also had a hand again in that again. In the numbers game. And you're wondering, where is Ray's the king of monsters? Well, he's getting set for an upcoming WXWC4 Ultimate Heavyweight Championship opportunity against the future Lance Anawaii. And we'll finally have a champion worthy of the greatest of all time. Well, we shall see. It'll, be, it'll certainly be the biggest challenge, literally and figuratively, of Lance Anawaii's career. Oh, yeah! Big backdrop right here. Whiplash and Cage working together to retain their coveted titles. Will he get them right here? But no. American Murder Society still in it. You know, they started off sh strong early on, but now... The experience of the go of the Zoltan has quickly caught up as we enter the mid-level stages of this match. This is hard-hitting action, and this is the only place you can see it here. It's nice to see it on TV, but it's always nice to see it live here in Mountainville Memorial Hall. Thank you to Service Electric and Blue Ridge Cable Providers, www.wxwc4wrestling.com, and both men, same idea, same time, double cross body splashes, both men are down, both men need to tag out, and they need to do it now. Who wants it more? Will we see new tag team champions, or will we see go retain? It all depends on who tags next. We need the greatest tag of all time. And we're going to get it. You here comes Aaron it. Bradley. Here, here comes Chris Cage. And now Bradley, down goes Whiplash. Down goes Cage. Down goes Whiplash. And one more time, Bradley says, I'm coming for you. And a big flying for him, smash in the corner. And a bulldog, relentless Aaron Bradley. Hit him, kid. No, Is it enough? No, Is it enough? No. Ah. That was too close. With the titles on the line, RC is correct. I can't believe I said that. That was too close, but yet so far away. The action continues. What a match. Snapmare takeover. Yeah. 
Tag coming in. Is this the beginning of the end? Here comes Maniac Unchained. Steve off, off the ropes from Bradley. Uh, on his shoulders. Off's like lay him down hard. Boom! Gut buster on the knee. Whiplash. Cutter. Wow! Unbelievable. Ace crusher. Big knee in the corner, right to the, firmly to the chin of off. Whiplash and cage. This is what they do. This is why they're the Zoltan. This is why they're the GOAT. This is why they're the champs. But wait, shoulder down. Move out of the way and off. Off by a split second, gets caught in the corner. The Maniac Unchained is down. Oh my gosh, Whiplash and Cage, both on the top rope. Wow! And Ivy Roman holds him down. Woo! Unbelievable. saying, the American Murder Society, the numbers game caught up. That's why you have elite tag team champions still retain. Well, we're going to go to break. This is Blast TV, still the tag team champion. Let's go for action coming up next. Tiburon Solutions and Auto Services, located at 1008 South 4th Street in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We will find any part for any car. We also repair engines and transmissions, tune-ups, oil change, paint and body, brakes, tires, welding, and much more. We don't just find it, we do it all. Our hours of operation are Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We speak English and Espanol. Our phone number is 484-951-7446.
the GOAT stand as the elite tag team champions. Could this be the night that raves as to that collection and becomes the new ultimate heavyweight champion? Cross, how could it not? Look at the guy. There is no way, I don't care what Samoan you put in front of this guy, he's gonna take him down. He is a machine. She would hit Adams. And there is the look of confidence. There is the look oh, yeah. of legacy. Wait a minute. What is, what? What? The goat are attacking. Samu has just jumped in. Goat has chased. Goat just finished hitting and attacking and blind psyching Lance on Hawaii. Great Samu, of course. Mike, Mike. Samu has something to say. Samu has something to say. What? What? Who is he to make that call? The remaining members of GOAT have been banned from ringside after a vicious attack, a vicious blindside attack against Lance no, no, White. No, 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 no. Lance attacked them first. And what gives him the authority? Wait a minute, the what bell's is... rung. Wait a minute. The bell just rung. Is this one, two? What started off as a very abrupt beginning, the great Samu steps in. Uh, the greatest of all time are not going to use the numbers game as Superstar Whiplash and Chris Cage, they've been banned from ringside. Yeah, what gives him the right to do that? Because he's the great Samu, and there's no WXWC4 without him and his wonderful Samoan family. Did you see that blindside attack that happened even before the ring bell rang? Let's hit them first! And now Ray's being jacked in the corner here. Big Samoan splash! The 380 plus pounders in trouble. I don't think we've ever seen Ray stagger like this before. I blame all this on the great Samu. He's a big boy, but he's facing a champion like none other. This guy. Wrestling runs through his blood, his wrestling lineage right here. This is what Lance Onawahi was built for. Moments like this. He still hasn't knocked him down. And he's not going to. Never say never. You can't chop down an uh, oak tree all in one shot. You gotta break it down limb for limb. Oh yeah! And then 
sometimes the tree fights back and power bombs you. Sit out style. Can you feel it, guys? Can you feel it? There, there is a new ultimate champion here tonight. Well, certainly the momentum shift was extreme. And after a hellacious sit out power bomb, the king of monsters rays in firm control. We could be moments away from, from a new champion, but he's got to pin or make him submit. Yeah, until the great Samu just pulls out some more rules and just does what he wants. Well, don't you want to see this be a fair victory for the greatest of all time? You know, guys, guys, Lance on Hawaii is hurt. Good. Oh, he, he's definitely hurt. He's feeling that right now. His whole body is shaking right now because of the fact, not because he's scared, but because his nerve endings are in extreme pain from that sit-out that, power. That power bomb took a lot more out of Lance than anything. He hasn't even made it out of the corner yet. Can't these people shut up? Well, they pay their hard-earned money to scream loud and chant for their warrior of a champion. Come on, Ivy. What a slam. Uh-oh. This is it right here. Oh. oh Where is he going? Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a new champion. History tonight. Forget uh, about that. Man, forget Lance about nothing. Lance is still nothing. in this. Lance oh, yeah. is still in this. 382 pounds coming crashing down with a hellacious elbow. The great Samu is just, he is just standing at, outside in the shadows here, away from the spotlight watching this match. Close eyes on this. How much more power can the greatest of all times table get here? Chris Cage and Whiplash, already the tag team champions. If Reyes wins the ultimate heavyweight title, these guys are forming a dynasty. Woohoo! We are gonna party! And look at the cameras at ringside. We got flashes going. Everybody wants to record history here. Everybody's talking about WXWC4. A powerful, historic lineage brought to life month in and month out. And now, Third generation standout, lands on a white fighting back. No, 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 no way. Come on, Lance, you can do this. I would love to see that, folks. Oh, rolling out, rolling out of the corner is Lance. And a great running drop kick right to the midsection. It staggers Ray's back into the corner. Another Samoan splash, perhaps. But he's been met with a big time uh, monstrous elbow from this monstrosity known as Rays. Wow! Oh! oh! My 380 plus pound belly to belly? That's it! Oh. Did he get him? Was that three? Our oh. official Cheyenne says oh. just two. Oh, it's that her. was two and a half. Play nice. No, Cheyenne's had some big pressure moments all night long on this episode of Blast TV. She's doing a great job, and that is unbelievable that Lance is able to kick out. That's why he is a fighting champion. He has absorbed a brutal amount of punishment here against Reigns. And Reigns, Reigns is just clawing. He's got his nails dug into, like, it looks like the nostrils. I'm just glad I'm here to witness the brand new ultimate champion. He was digging into the lips, into the nostrils, covering it up. I don't think Cheyenne, the official, could quite see what was legal and what wasn't. We could be on the cusp of a new champion, RC, but you can't jump to conclusion. As long as there's fight in the champion, the champion is going to remain in the fight. He's given his heart and soul to this business, and it's no different on this episode of Blast TV. He defines the championship. The championship does not define him. Absolutely. And now he's fighting back. He can't knock the cha the challenger down, but he sure is staggering him. But just like that, all the momentum taken out from under him. A thunderous lariat from the 382 pounder. The king of monsters for the cover. New champion here. But no. I think Rays would have hooked both legs but he only hooked one, giving Lance the ability to kick out from that pin attempt. There is still a fighting chance with Lance. He is fighting champion personified. This is big pressure 
championship moments. Monstrous snapmare out of the corner, and look at Reigns. He's using Lance Anawahi's head like a vice grip. He's just got his, he's got his hands just drenched in, and he's turning the neck one way, and he's turning the head another way. That is just hellacious pain, I can only imagine. The more he keeps on going down on his head, the more I smell bananas. I'm not sure what that comment was referring to, but back to the match, Reigns, once again, just when it looked like Anawaii was gonna get out of it, Reigns just slams his head down to the canvas hard. I think he was talking about the banana puree that RC just finished having. Hey, I need some potassium. Keep me going to put up with this slob all night. And I'm not talking about you, Xavier, I love you. As the action continues on this Blast TV main event, Ultimate Heavyweight Championship Affair, the challenger Reigns could be on the brink of his first championship reign here at C4. This is, I was about to say a smart, me me methodical pace by the challenger, but Lance on away fighting back. There, well, that one connected right to the Kissa. Another one, a third one. A Samoan forearm smash. Not going down. Almost though, staggers him. Uh, we have seen this before. Uh, It'll never happen. It'll never happen. Never say never. Uh, never say never. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. I was about to say Timber. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. But the, gra the ground sandal. Oh, come on. What's Ivy Roman doing here? Ivy come on, Roman. Ivy. She's come trying on, to be Ivy. a seductress. Oh. What? Oh, oh, no. What was that? Super kick. Oh. Hey, Cheyenne, the referee, was attending to raise. And it lands on a way. He kicked her right off the apron. I can't believe that. She kicked her in the next week. Ray's about to close on him. Ducks the line to on a way. Super kick to Ray. Still not down. Don't no. you get it. Someone would drop. drop. What? Timber. No. no. Told no. you he did it. On a way to the top rope. Big Samoan splash. You gotta be kidding me. He oh, hooks the leg. Do it. No. Do it. Do it. And you said it couldn't be done, RC. Well, oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on, ring the bell and tell her. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, he needs to bring a chair in. The great Samu saves the day, comes to his son's aid. That's what the Samoan dynasty does. They got each other's back. Does anybody know where Ivy Roman's teeth are? I gotta go check on her. You stay right here, you creep. As Samu checking on his son. See what Sam has to say.
on Hawaii, the future, teaming with his daddy, the great Samu, entered into the 2018 Samoan Cup Legacy Tournament. Isn't there an age limit? He's too old. Never too old. When you're a legend, when you're a legacy, when you're a Samoan standout, your legacy lives on forever. I'm out of here. I can't take any more of this. Thank you for watching this episode of WXWC4 Blast TV.